crafters and welcome to another video with Amy Makes That. I am so excited for today's tutorial and thanks for being here. My name is Amy and I post content about the Cricut, craft projects like today's video, and craft business tips. So if you're interested in that kind of content weekly, because I post every single Monday, please subscribe to my channel. And we are also so close to 50,000 subscribers and I have a giveaway coming so, so soon that I know you guys will really enjoy. Today's video is how to make a blanket with velvet vinyl. I came across this pin and it caught my eye because one, boho, if you know me, and two, because I was so intrigued by Velvet HTV Vinyl. The person that created that pin and blog post also sells that HTV Vinyl. That's where I got the vinyl from. This entire tutorial is basically inspired by her. So if you're interested in that blog post, I will link that below. But I wanted to kind of post a video on it just to test Velvet HTV Vinyl and see how it works. You can obviously use this not on a blanket material, but anything else, maybe even a t-shirt. I will link everything that I used in today's video in the video description, including the Velvet H2B vinyl and the blanket that I got from H&M. Let's stop talking and enjoy the tutorial. All right, so we're in Cricut Design Space. This is the font Wisely. So if you scroll down, you'll see that it comes with these really cute dingbats. It has these cute little rainbows. But for some reason, when I go to type this, cause it's a capital A, this dingbat, it doesn't recognize the dingbat, like it shows the dingbats here. I just don't know why it's not showing up. I tried reinstalling and uninstalling the font too on my laptop and nothing seems to work. What I'm going to do is I opened up font book here and I'm going to scroll down to wisely. And this is obviously the dingbat that I want. So I'm going to zoom this in all the way and I'm going to take a screenshot of it. I'm going to upload this. a while and here it is and then i'll just again upload it as normal upload it as a simple image click the background and it is good to go and then i'll add it to canvas voila i'm going to make the size of this about seven ish inches so it's gonna be 7.2 by five inches height. Um, since I am a visual person and I couldn't make the template onto Cricut because it's so big, I cut out some seven by five papers and placed them on the blanket so I can actually see how they're going to look and see if I want four in each row, three in each row. So by all means do this if this helps you. Once you decide how many rainbows you want on the blanket, next I'm going to change the amount of project copies. So so this is a much easier and faster way instead of duplicating each rainbow you will just type in the amount that you want and I finally decided that 13 would be the best this is when I realized that I didn't have enough vinyl for 25 rainbows so I will show that in a little bit but right now what I'm doing is I'm just going through each mat and I'm aligning them a little bit better and then I'm also mirroring the design because again we are heat pressing and usually with HTV vinyl you will always mirror your design shop craftables did say that you should mirror your design so that's what i'm doing for all of these and then once i'm done mirroring we can click next make sure your computer is connected to your cricut or your ipad whatever the case may be and now when i was on the blog post she recommended that for cricut maker users that the material setting should be denim bonded this is not the setting that i'm going to use and i will show you why but i just want to show you what happens when i use this and this is why it is so important to do test cuts beforehand but like i said before please watch this video before you start crafting i know a lot of you like to watch my video as you craft but again i mentioned that i didn't do 25 rainbows i didn't do the denim bonded setting so just make sure that you watch this before so you don't make the same mistakes as i did it's been a while since i've logged this is what we have right now i cut computer paper 7.2 by the five inches again this isn't going to be an exact measurement but it just gives me a good visual idea of how i can place all of the rainbows on here so i think i like this a lot 12 seconds later my problem i don't have enough vinyl there is 11 feet of this kind of vinyl so it's 9.5 by 132 inches so I can only make 18 rainbows of the size that I want. I don't want to go any smaller than that. I'm going to show some nice little B-roll of me trying to figure out how I'm going to fit 18 of these. So enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I finally made a decision to do 13 total rainbows on this blanket. I just thought it looked the best with this size and 13 is also my lucky number. So I think it was meant to be. Also, what wasn't shown was me rearranging this blanket probably five times that previous night. I know I did 13, but you can also make 15. Just keep in mind that you wanna make sure that you have some extra vinyl left over. So God forbid your Cricut cuts it the wrong way or you know, like me, I did the test cut and it completely went sour um i had the extra vinyl so i didn't have to frantically buy more vinyl this is why we measure things and visualize them before we cut so i'm going to go back into my craft office and show you how i make everything so here we have our vinyl now what i always do is i always lay my cricut mat down with the transfer sheet over it so that way it's not sticking to it and then i cut a little slit to make sure that i can get the right measurement and then in order to get a straight line i will take my paper cutter that i use in every single video and I I just cut the vinyl like this and I'm going to repeat this exact same process for the rest of my vinyl so in total I have to make seven mats because I have 13 rainbows once we're ready for the Cricut to cut it I will remove that transfer sheet carrier sheet or the plastic film whatever you want to call it this is like the same thing as regular HTV vinyl you're placing the velvet side down so that way that dark brown color is facing up and I'm also using the fabric mat in today's video. This is the purple mat, so it has a much better grip. And then I will use my brayer tool just to firmly adhere it down. If you're worried about the Cricut cutting the vinyl or not cutting it enough, you can use painter's tape around each edge. This is the first time I used my fabric mat, so it is a very sticky mat, and I didn't have any problems with it, as you can see throughout the video. So now I can insert the mat into the Cricut as always, and press the arrow button, and then press the Cricut button for it to cut. And you'll be really interested to see that the denim bonded setting cuts it through two times. I thought it would be great because, you know, it's a thick vinyl. Turns out that when I went to remove the vinyl, it cut way too thick. What happened was it cut so much that the actual rainbow was falling out of the entire carrier sheet. So I tried removing it and see like it, it just cut way, way, way too thick and it just was not good. And I just thought it was funny, like, look at all this vinyl. <laughs> Next time, we're going to do the same setting, denim bonded, but you will change the pressure to less. So originally the pressure was on default and now it's going to be on less. It did cut still like a little bit thick into it, but it was not as bad. And I was able to remove the carrier sheet, remove the vinyl. So I'll show you when I weeded. It is a thicker material, so it might be hard for you to get that little slip off. But once you do, you're able to just pull it. You don't even have to use the weeder tool and be very gentle with it. Some pieces cut through a little bit deeper than others, but I never had a problem when heat pressing. But oh, look at that velvet. It looks stunning. So I'm just repeating this weeding process again as usual. <laughs> So as my Cricut was cutting, I was bringing the rest of the rainbows into my living room. Okay, so to give you a better look of what I'm doing, um, it's gonna be easier to do it like this. So I'll flip this over, and then I will kind of align it to see where it goes, and then I can technically lay this down right here because the paper's not going to stick to it. So I can just lightly take it out, and then I'll straighten it and press it down and that's how i will do each one so i'll finish the rest of the rainbows in very speedy time this is why i love time lapses because it looks like it took literally 30 seconds but it actually took way more than that so i have this really big extension cord that way i'm able to plug in my heat press and i'm going to put this on the suggested heat is 300 degrees to 315, so I'm going to do 305 just to be safe. And then I'm going to minus that. I'm going to minus this. The first 10 seconds are going to be without a Teflon sheet, and then the next 15 seconds are going to be with the Teflon sheet. So as mentioned before, um, what you're going to do is you're going to do two passes of heat pressing. So I'm putting my easy press mat underneath because that is so important. Make sure you have that underneath so you don't burn your floor. 
and the first pass it's going to be 10 seconds and this is on 305 degrees i really pushed into the heat press to make sure that it was a firm press and then once the 10 seconds are done i'm going to remove the heat press i'm going to take my teflon sheet which is like a protective barrier to make sure that the vinyl doesn't get burned and then i'm going to heat press it again for 15 seconds then you can remove the heat press, remove the Teflon sheet, and we will wait one minute. So I took my phone and I set an alarm for one minute and it kind of worked out perfectly. So I set the alarm for one minute and then I went to the next rainbow. And by the time I was done heat pressing the next rainbow, I was able to remove the first rainbow that I heat pressed. So here it says one minute is done and we can finally remove the carrier sheet. And this was my favorite part. I was a little nervous with this first one because I didn't know if I needed more pressure or anything, but this method worked absolutely perfect. Removing the carrier sheet might be a little difficult as you can see here, because it is thick and some of the areas were like a little too deeply cut, but look at my face, I'm so excited. And the feel of the velvet, oh, oh my gosh, I loved it so much, I was in shock. Let's continue this process for the rest of the blanket. show you it up close oh my god this velvet is stunning it's so fun to go over it and feel the velvet and i cannot thank my pinterest skills enough for discovering this blog post in the first place and getting inspired by our post so let's close out this video Thank you everyone so very much for watching today's tutorial and let me know if you're going to try Velvet H2B Vinyl. I am so obsessed and will be using this blanket everywhere around my house. It is so cute. So if you decide to make this tutorial, definitely check out that blog post and also tag me on Instagram because I always love to repost and see your projects when you remake my tutorials. Thank you again for watching today's video and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!